has won awards overseas, and it has the backing of some key environmental figures. But you won't see one on Canadian streets anytime soon. The CBC's Red Sharon explains. With the turn of the key and a very quiet, it's ready to go. The Zen electric car is rolling down roads across the United States, Mexico, and has won awards in Europe. Canadian founder and owner Ian Clifford even has the support of Al Gore. And it's made right here in St. Jerome, Quebec. So, why haven't you seen or heard very much about Canada's 100% electric car? Well, it's because the federal government won't let Zen sell it in Canada. We're getting roadblocks thrown up in front of us every, every attempt down the road. And uh, it's getting to the point now where we're almost giving up on Canada. The cars, called low-speed vehicles, are designed for areas where speed limits are 50 kilometers an hour or less. It's met all the regulatory requirements in the United States, the same regulations which were adopted by Transport Canada back in 2000. But try asking Transport Canada why it won't license Zen here, and you get different answers. Have they met that regulatory requirement? They haven't met our requirements yet, no. Then, Bergen says Zen has met the requirements. They've showed us that it meets as an LSV. They have showed that to you? Uh, yes. But Transport Canada won't license Zen because it now wants to change the regulations. Our definition is presently being clarified um, because there is a little bit of a, a broadness in it. Every time we have a conversation, it's a different story with Transport Canada. The reality is we meet the regulation. Clifford points out there are already low-speed vehicles on our roadways. They're called bicycles or scooters. His car, he says, is even safer, and all you have to do is plug it in to fill it up. Last week, the Prime Minister stood up and said that we can't meet our Kyoto protocols, and every electric vehicle that's on the road, you offset six tons of CO2 emissions per vehicle. In British Columbia, another Canadian electric car company, Dynasty, has given up. We are not getting any support uh, from the federal level at, at this time. Now they're shutting down. With the dollar rising and no Canadian market, they're moving production offshore. This is one of the last cars off the assembly line. Back in Quebec, Ian Clifford worries his company is next. Have you seen the film Who Killed the Electric Car? Absolutely, we've seen the film Who Killed the Electric Car, and we feel that we're getting killed in Canada. I think it's getting harder and harder for us to stay in Canada every day. So if we could sell our cars in our market, uh, there's a very good chance that we would remain here. A chance, he says, that at the moment seems slim to none. Red Sharon, CBC News, St. Jerome, Quebec.